It's 1937, four years since fascism and bloodshed gripped Germany, two years until World War II would officially begin. FDR has just begun his second term. Neville Chamberlain was just elected prime minister. Churchill is an outsider and critic of the British government, warning of the unquenchable thirst of Adolf Hitler and largely being ignored. Against this global backdrop, full of uncertainty, on the 27th of October in the New York Harbor, the keel was laid for this ship, the USS North Carolina. The men and women who spent their days building her and returning home to the five boroughs certainly couldn't have known that in a few short years, the world would be fighting perhaps the greatest threat our humanity has ever faced. They couldn't have known this ship would become one of the most decorated in the Pacific Fleet, that she would serve in the Guadalcanal campaign, or that the Marines raising the flag on Iwo Jima would do so while the USS North Carolina was on overwatch. They had no idea their tools were laying bricks in a foundation that would soon hold up some of our most basic human principles. 17 years after the war ended, she made her home here in Wilmington and became a war memorial and museum. Some four decades later, she underwent Operation Shipshape, a massive restoration. And that's when the aging original teak deck laid down by the New York shipwrights in 1937 that went on to see salt, fire, and blood as it carried sailors on a heroic and unimaginable journey had completed its service. Instead of being scrapped, the original deck boards were salvaged the most weathered and worn of which are available to the public. A few years ago, we did our best to honor this wood by turning some of it into writing tools that could inspire new stories. And we're here today to do it again. It's humbling work that defies words. When I think of the uncertainty of 1937, the thousands of workers who built the USS North Carolina and the sailors who took her to war, the lives lost aboard and the countless lives saved by her work, I'm reminded that the only way to have the future we want is to build. When we don't know what to expect, we build, knowing that we are not building alone, that others will likely continue the work, that it might not even be about what we do today, but about what comes after we've finished. We just build. <laughs>